RuneScape is a massive game, a detailed, charming world that's often overlooked in favour of efficiency. Over more than two decades, the world of RuneScape has expanded both in scale and depth. From the very first map drawn by Andrew Gower to the intricate, multi-continental Gelenor of today, the sheer amount of content in the game is incredible and RuneScape features so many cool secrets, references, trivia and lore that's not immediately apparent, or often overlooked. So in this series we'll go through and highlight some of the game's more obscure details. So subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss an episode, and let's get into it. The Wilderness is one of the most interesting places in the game. Once bountiful fields with long green grass and trees, now scorched black, barren and haunted. Every location in the wilderness is interesting in some way. The Bandit Camp, Dark Warrior's Fortress, and in the far northeast, the Wilderness Volcano. This strange location seems to tell a story. A shipwreck is beached on the low slope of a small volcanic peak, which in the centre houses a small wooden bridge and an anvil sign on the minimap. The volcano is used for forging Odium and Malediction wards, the two wilderness shields, but other than this serves no real purpose. However, this volcano, found deep in an evil land with black, burned earth, in the centre of which lies a forge, parallels another volcano in fantasy, Druin, or Mount Doom from Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. This volcano, found in the land of Mordor, was where Sauron forged the One Ring in secret, at the crack of doom, and at the end of the story is where Frodo and Sam, along with Gollum, destroy it in the fire. While the parallels between the two are obvious enough already, if we take a gold ring into the wilderness volcano, we can see one of my favourite easter eggs in the game. If we use the ring with a volcanic forge, a goblin will appear for a second, shouting, Obviously referencing Gollum, once a breed of hobbit but corrupted by the ring into a goblin-like creature, who attacks Frodo at the crack of doom, biting his finger off to take the ring. Elsewhere in RuneScape, there's a similar reference to Tolkien's Lord of the Rings with recruitment drive Sir Lee. One of the challenges the player faces during this quest is to defeat this knight, apparently blessed by Saradomin so that no man may defeat him. And it's true, he won't take the final hit if you're a male character. However, he didn't read the fine print of his blessing contract with the God of Light, as the protection is literal. No man may defeat him. If you switch your character to female at the makeover mage, or a female already, you're able to defeat the knight. This is most likely a reference to the Witch King of Angmar, the leader of the Nazgul, who was the focus of a prophecy that he would not fall by the hand of a man. In Peter Jackson's films, this is even more explicit, and when the Ringwraith faces Durnhelm, he claims that No man can kill me. However, Durnhelm is actually Eowyn of Rohan, and with the help of Merry and his dagger of Western S, is able to defeat the Witch King, just like how a female player is able to defeat Sir Lee. But RuneScape isn't just filled with references to other fantasy worlds. Its own universe is interesting in its own right. Elsewhere in Falador, up the stairs in one of the houses near the entrance to the Dwarven Mines, we can find a familiar face. The mysterious old man, who normally only appears to the player during random events, such as the maze and mime events. Before it was removed, the mysterious old man was involved in the strange box random event. The man appeared and gifted the player a puzzle box which rewards them with a small prize. If ignored, however, the box would have duplicated itself over and over until it takes up the entirety of the player's inventory, a random event which was deliberately designed to catch out early bots. But now, with bots being advanced enough that random events don't stop them, the mysterious old man relaxes in his house in Falador apparently trying to solve one of his puzzle boxes, and wanting the player to leave so he can run himself a bath. 
Another interesting old character is Hans, found in Lumbridge to the southeast. Hans spends his days looping around Lumbridge Castle, never changing his little circuit around the building. He's actually the oldest character in RuneScape, the very first character designed for the game, and as a result, is able to tell a player the age of their account. An interesting side to Hans' character is his cowardice. If the player announces that they're going to kill everyone, Hans will panic and run away backwards before returning to normal. Using this, the player can scare Hans multiple times in a row to force him further backwards than normal, away from his position circling the castle. He can be scared back all the way to around this point, halfway to Draenor Village, before he'll stop moving. If he took one more step, he'd be the furthest from home he'd ever been. Just like the references to Lord of the Rings, RuneScape references another fantasy series, J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter. In the bowels of Taverly Dungeon, players can fight Cerberus, guardian of the River of Souls, a colossal, three-headed hellhound which requires a slayer level of 91 to fight. Among other items, Cerberus drops the Smoldering Stone, used to craft the Infernal Axe, Harpoon and Pickaxe, as well as the Primordial, Pegasian and Eternal Crystals. She's obviously a reference to the Hound of Hades in Greek mythology who shares the same name, a three-headed dog which prevents the dead from leaving the underworld. However, RuneScape's gigantic hellhound also references another monster inspired by the Greek mythological creature, Fluffy, the three-headed dog from Harry Potter. Purchased by Hagrid from a Greek man, Fluffy was used to guard a trapdoor leading to the Philosopher's Stone by lying on top of it. And as a nod to this, below Cerberus we can see a trapdoor, just like Fluffy's, and the Hellhound's drops of various enchanted stones, especially the Smoldering Stone, matches Fluffy's guarding of the Philosopher's Stone. Lastly, in another of RuneScape's dungeons, there's a slightly calmer nod to yet another fantasy series, my favourite game series of all time, The Legend of Zelda. In the Stronghold of Security, the labyrinth where players must avoid increasingly powerful monsters and answer questions about account security, we can see the skeleton of a long-dead adventurer, known as Dead Explorer, who appears to have been slain by arrows. This explorer wears a green pointed hat, identical to that worn by Link, the reincarnating hero of the Zelda series. Not only this, but his examine info reads, he looks a bit past it, likely referencing the Super Nintendo Zelda game A Link to the Past. Thanks for watching this video. If there are any secrets or trivia you'd like to see covered in an episode, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already for old school RuneScape content, and I'll see you next time.